say to you today, my friend, to even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Those were a few of my father's inspirational words. Although he is not here with us today, I am here to tell you that if you were here, he would have wanted us all to continue his dream. My father, like Moses, was a remarkable man. He led his people on the journey to freedom. In fact, it all started in this very spot 34 years ago. My father grew up listening to his father preach at their local church. Hello, my brothers and sisters. We come here today to talk about a prophet named Moses. Moses was a great man who freed his people. His loyalty, his love for God, was an inspiration. Hey, look, it's my daddy. Can I get an amen? As he got older, my father took after his father and began preaching at the church as well. As years passed, my father noticed that his people were progressively being treated worse and worse. Why is my book on it though? Can I get a new one? I'm sorry son, but that's all we have. We can't afford to buy new ones. African Americans were treated poorly everywhere they went. They were always treated as second class citizens and didn't get respect anywhere they went. Get out of my seat. No. Excuse me? I said no. Move before I call the police. I ain't moving. <laughs> Let's go, you color. I have the right to sit here. Ha! You have no rights. The arrest of Rosa Parks was the final straw for my father. He decided he needed to take a stand for his people. My fellow people, the recent actions taken against us are unacceptable and need to be stopped. Together, we must take a stand and fight for our freedom. Throughout the next several days, the African Americans conveyed their discontent and disapproval by refusing to take the bus. Instead, they traveled by foot to all their destinations. As the African Americans protested more and more, 
the whites became increasingly angry. Sensing their discontent, my father turned himself in as an act of defiance. He knew the authorities were bound to come looking for him, so he wanted to turn himself in before they hunted him down. Two weeks later, my father was released from jail and began to devote himself to the civil rights movement for his people. After my father's famous speech, his legacy spread worldwide, and the impact he made was unlike any other. been shot. Attention, the African American civil rights movement leader, Martin Luther King Jr., has just been announced dead. Oh,